What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and today is our annual iPhone 13 Pro portrait mode versus a real camera. We're shooting with Bree today again, just like we did last year. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna go f 2.8 because that's what I'm shooting at on this camera. I have to pull that exposure down a bit. More, three, two, one. It's still very HDR. All right, I'm gonna go to the wider lens. Um, let's do one where you're sitting on the edge here. All right, here we go, three, two, one. That one. Pull the exposure down a bit. Nice. I actually don't know if I like having it dead center behind you. I feel like it's like a weird spaceship coming out of your head, but it is kind of cool. Yeah, that's better if you're off just a bit. Three, two, one. Hold that, three, two, one. Boom. You can see the little bits of rain behind you too. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That actually looks so good. I think it's just a matter of having like, the sky behind is easy to cut around the hair versus like a random object. Helicopter. So the, the wide lens on this phone is 26 millimeter and I've got 28 millimeter in here. So it's a little bit wider on the phone. So this year on the iPhone 13 Pro, it has a 3X zoom on it, which works out to be around a 77 millimeter equivalent. So I'm using the Tamron 28 to 75. I'm zoomed to 75 millimeters. I'm only off by like two millimeters. So I'm gonna have to crop in on the camera to match the telephoto lens on the iPhone 13 Pro. It's, it's never gonna be perfect, but yeah. like it's not the worst. I think it all depends on what you have behind your head. Like, For sure. like I was showing earlier, like uh, this area, it's perfect because it's just sky behind you, right? Boom. So portrait mode didn't work actually when you were against the wall. Interesting. <laughs> it was like move closer. It's probably because it just there was no there depth. Yeah. Well, it makes sense because there's no depth to go by, right? Yeah. It's it's got lidar, so it's using that, that like lidar scanner thing to like figure out edge detection. I have a feeling it couldn't figure out an edge when you were against the wall. Here we go, three, two, one. Hold that, three, two, one, hold that. Can we do one where you're looking more off your left shoulder? Yeah, exactly. Two, one. This to HDR stuff though is driving me nuts. So the telephoto mode will actually work Oh, no, it can't work there. You're too far. You're out of range. Oh, it started working again. Can you drop that uh, shoulder back a little more? Yeah. Nice. Good job. Look how much more you see of this because of the HDR. I don't know if... <laughs> I can't tell if I like it. It's just... There's no way around it this year. Like, you have to have HDR. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Put it in the comments. But I'm pretty sure there's no way to turn HDR off this year. You can't turn... <laughs> look, look. It, it used to be in the camera menu at the very bottom. You go into the camera menu, it used to be down at the very bottom. It used to say HDR, smart HDR, on or off, and now you can't, there's nothing. They also have photographic styles this year, which lets you put like a filter on it. You can't edit the filter, it's baked into the file. So like if we want to use warm, like from now on, all the shots we take will have like a warmer look to them. That is a big wedding. I just saw the wedding party and there's a lot and they kicked us out of our spot. So we got kicked out of our spot by children and by weddings. And we don't like either of them. Just kidding, kids are all right sometimes. Can you kick your uh, legs out a little further? Yeah, hold that. I'm gonna go back a little further. Three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one, hold it. Here we go. The portrait mode will not work. Plus I have a whole wedding party behind you. So that's fun. 
Come on, portrait mode. We can't get this creative with our portrait shots, I guess. I think. Yep, three, two, one. We did get it. We got the shot. That's actually so sick. Two, one, hold that. Two, one, hold that. Boom. I found the iPhone 12 Pro Max did a really good job at emulating bokeh last year, and I'm wondering if Apple's, I don't know, maybe got it dialed in a little bit better this year on the iPhone 13 Pro, combining AI, computational magic, and LiDAR. So it should have some improved edge detection, but I didn't really notice a big difference. Okay, three, two, one, hold that. Three, two, one. Nice. On my camera, it doesn't even look like a blue sky. Yeah. On the iPhone, it's blue like sky. completely blue. Actually, bring one hand up to your hair. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hold that. Three, two, one. That's actually kind of a cool shot because, yeah, the sky is so dark behind you. Hello. I'm curious if this is going to help with um, our exposure issues we've been having with HDR. The pants are... Really? Really bad? No, they like properly. Should you look at them quick? No. This is how we top last year's portrait video. <laughs> how does it look? How's the damage? We're in like a spaceship. So yeah, I'm kind of like, yeah, just off the chin there. Two, two, one, hold that. Out again or we'll just hold it down for now. Three, two, one. Maybe tilt your head off to your right shoulder a little and turn into me a bit more. Actually, I liked when you looked down at the camera like that. Hold that. Remember that time your pants exploded? Okay, we can do some wide stuff then. Yeah. Can you come out a little closer? Yeah, that's dope. Or that green behind? That's sick. Oh, and I can go really low, so that's cool. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, back to one. Here's the damage. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's no way. You must have done more when you were getting out of them. I, I probably, but like, it was enough. <laughs> Those are not repairable. All right, thanks for watching the video, you guys. Unfortunately, we have to end. We had a wardrobe malfunction. That was the iPhone 13 Pro versus the real camera. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, which you think was better. And uh, that's all we got. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks to Bree. Thanks to Joe behind the camera. That's all. We are doing our annual iPhone. I almost held this up. From the front, you can't see anything. It's fine. That's, it's that's how we roll here at on my channel. Oh, yeah. Changing the channel name to All Butts. All butts. I'm currently standing here with no butt cheeks sticking up. Someone lost their library card. There's just like a bunch of people behind you. I can't roll my R's too well. This water, water is so gross. This whole video is just going to be us trashing weddings and kids.